Welcome to Kate's Egg. I hope you enjoy the video. We took a little bit of a break yes during winter and now we're going to go flying again so i really hope you enjoy this video a lot of farmers actually fly and my dad has been flying since you were just a little kid with your uncle right dad right and then when did you get your pilot's license 20 so that's still pretty young i'm thinking about getting my pilot's license so you should comment down below if you think i should and any suggestions you might have. I would really appreciate it. You'll get to go on a little flight with us. We're gonna fly over the farm and see if some of the straw piles are burned and Montana's not always the best weather to fly in during winter because we get such unpredictable weather. We have so much snow and even as you can see, we still have a bit of snow now. But today is a really nice day because it's not that windy and we also get a lot of wind in Montana. So I'm pretty excited to go flying and last time I went flying, today I'm not going to be landing or taking off, but last time I almost landed the plane by myself. So that's pretty exciting. I hope you enjoy the video. Right now we're just pre-flighting and basically what my dad just did is he emptied a bit of the fuel because the water, you don't want any water in the fuel. So that's what we do and you just check everything about the plane to make sure you're very safe. We always wanna be the most safe possible on the farm and also when flying the airplane because it's really, really important to us. Right, Dad? It's important to be safe. Yes. yes, always. And you always do a visual check and you walk all around your airplane. Looks good. Now we're going to see if it starts. It is a little bit chilly and we are not sure if it's gonna start because you have to have a lot of times to fly in the winter an inside hangar and we don't have that. This is going to be my first ride in this airplane. I'm used to flying our Cessna, so I'm pretty excited. And our Cessna has the wings over the top. Now we're going to get in. We're going to try and start the plane. Here's out my window. I'm gonna shut my door. Clear prop. It's a little inside plane tour. We're going to have a lot of fun, so stay tuned. Now Dad and I are going to go through some of the controls. Okay, this is your vertical speed. This is how fast the airplane is going up, how fast it's going down. And This with, is your altitude right here. Okay. Here's my headset that we're going to be wearing. I actually used to go flying with my dad when I was little, so I have a picture of me and actually our Cessna wearing the same headset, so I'll have to put a picture in. We got the headset on, and dad's plugging his in so he can hear everything. Okay, this is your RPM. Okay. This is your manifold pressure. This airplane works a little different than the other one. It does? Yeah. Okay. This is the same. We're going to set our altitude field elevation. So we look up the field elevation. And we have our book that says the elevation and... 3944. So we're going to dial this back. The landing strips of everywhere we go. 3940. 3944. 3944. 
for the altitude. Now we're going to turn on our radios. We we'll turn our avionics switch on. Turn this radio on. Turn this one on. Fire this up. When you sit in this airplane, Kate, this thing's got to be level. You know the way you look at it. If the dot goes up, it shows you're climbing. If the dot goes down, it shows you're diving. Okay. But it's going to indicate here. which is amazing because some of the bumps in the air cannot be very fun and so it's just a fabulous day to fly. As you can see, my dad is explaining to me a lot of the different gauges in the airplane to always be watching. There's so many of them and it's very important.
Right now we're doing a left turn around Grandpa's and you can even see the white elevator and the reservoir. Montana views are really just spectacular and I think an overhead view of everything just shows how absolutely beautiful Montana really is and I love the perspective from the airplane of all of the fields. I hope you enjoy the wonderful views as much as I do. You can see the arrow pointing towards the burned straw piles on the edge of this field. They are little kind of black lines and that's kind of why we went flying today is to check to see if all of the straw piles got burned and it does look like they did. Right now we are flying over the knees. you can see the Teton River.
at the runway. It's a little challenging to see right now because the sun is setting. Right now, the wind is pushing us a little bit in the airplane, and that's what my dad's explaining. We are coming in for our landing. runway is bigger, longer, so allows nice. you to, you know, make a, little, a few more mistakes, but you want to drive this thing? Yes, sure. Okay. Oh my. Okay. Where are you going? I don't know. Easy, easy. Dad, that was fantastic. You're welcome, Kate. Okay, now you gotta unlock this. I'd say that was a pretty fantastic flight, Dad, wouldn't you? Yeah, we made it back alive. <laughs> we made it back alive. Well, that's a plus. We always want to hear that, right, Dad? Yeah. Now we're putting headsets away, so we just have this little backpack for that. And did I ever fly in this with you when I was little, or is this my first ever ride? First ride in this airplane. First ever ride in this airplane. Usually, we fly a different one. Well, thank you so much, Dad. You're welcome, Kate. So, I'll take this bit away. Today wasn't that windy out. As you can see, usually it's way more windy. That's how we get in. And if you'd like to see more flying videos, definitely comment down below. And also, if you have your pilot's license, you can comment that down below too. It was a great flight day, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe for more awesome videos.
And also you can follow Kate's Egg on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, everywhere basically. But on Instagram it's Kate's underscore AG and then everywhere else it's just Kate's Egg. And also thank you so much to everyone who sent something to my P.O. box. It means so much and also made a donation through PayPal. It really means a lot and I had a great day flying. Now today's flight was to check and see if we got all of the straw piles burned in the field. So I'll like circle them or something in the video so that you can tell what I'm talking about. It looks like a little like line of black at the edge of a field. And now we're just going to put the airplane back in and head out for the day because it definitely gets a little bit dark early. in the video look at these beautiful mountains here are the rocky mountains they are so gorgeous then here we have the sunset so beautiful so this is the green airplane and this is the one I'm used to flying with my dad and even ever since I was little it's a Cessna here's the inside so see if you press the tops of these pedals you have your brakes, so that's why it's a little bit different in this one than in the other one. And you also have a lot more of a view. And then the wings are on the top, as you can see, rather than down below. So it's simpler to get into. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye! I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. I hope you have the most wonderful and happy holidays ever. And... I really want to thank all of my subscribers for your amazing support. I, I can't even believe how supportive everyone is, so I want to thank you so much for all of the wonderful comments and absolutely everyone who watches my videos. A huge thank you to you. I wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. <laughs>